Hello, welcome back. So I farmed a little bit and I also explored the islands. I'm not sure if the map is the same for everyone, but over here there were some interesting things. But here it's kind of like an abandoned little city. It's very small, but it was pretty interesting to see a lot of enemy spawners in the middle of the map. And I also maxed out most of my resources, so we're just going to play a little more. Now let me see, I have 7, 5, uh, well, I guess I can get... Yeah, I can get 10, so that will not be a problem. So let's upgrade the workbench to level 3. Oh, what is this? Oh, it says light la large light radius. I like it a lot. Hmm. Harden steel skite. Wait a minute, is this a tool or a weapon? 13 to 20? I have a feeling this will be a weapon, but I guess it's a two-handed weapon. <laughs> okay, that uh, changes things a little bit. Okay, I just want these two things. I don't want anything else. I don't care about the hammer anymore. It's not hammer time anymore. It's skite time. It's farming time. Also, I have enough resources to upgrade the city to the whatever you want to call this thing to level 3 or 2. Depends on how you view things. Also, I have mango trees and a lot of other cool stuff. But that's just for planting. Okay, so the town will be level 2 now. The map was updated, what do you mean? No, it doesn't look like the map was updated. Now, there's a thing over here that will also... Thriving Town. I forgot to see what... Ah, uh, whatever. I guess we have a new citizen or something like that. Now, you can see everyone that is in the city, so you need to build houses for them if you want to open up the shops. Blackjack minigame in case you want to gamble your gold away. Farmer. If they it says they are at the inn, that means they don't have a house. At shop, at shop. The bear is in town. At the inn, at the shop. And it's pretty easy to kind of accommodate them. Oh, I think the map was updated to have new houses. Okay, now I understand what they mean. New plots. So the new backpack cost 200 gold. Well, that's going to be a challenge on its own. But at least now we know how, what we have to do. So, yeah, 300 gold. I guess we can sell some stuff over here. How much lavender did I collect? Well, I was on a bit of a spree. Roses, well... Oh, also, I have a lot of marigold. I guess we can sell most of the stuff we have and then we'll maybe be able to afford it. Okay, now that... That is a little better. Never sell your stone. Stone is much too important. Clay to be honest is not very important, glass will probably be super important later. And... Well, that's bad. I guess I can sell some seeds to the vendor lady. I think I have a lot of lavender seeds. No? Oh no, I planted everything except for the mango trees. Well, that's a shame. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, this is only 200 gold. Why did I think it was... Okay, it's 200 gold only.
Okay. So we have a new backpack, 300 slots. We are making quite a lot of progress, to be honest. I think the town also updated it a little bit. I also have a lot of problems with the game. The FPS is very low in the city. On other areas is very nice, but I don't know. I guess I just need to keep away from the city, at least for a while. Also, I have a hard time finding uh, rocks. So rocks are super hard to find for whatever reason. Hmm. I guess we can try and scavenge for rocks a little bit. Actually, no, let's just go into the dungeon. Because the dungeon will have a lot of rocks. And probably we can defeat all of those enemies because even though we don't have a much better weapon, the sword, the upgraded sword is good enough. And after that we should have enough resources to go to the next tier and then go to the desert island and maybe, you know, go into the tunnels, harvest new materials. I think the game has uh, three dungeons that have bosses here. I much prefer the dungeon because the FPS is much... Oh. Okay, so let me tell you something very useless, a bit of trivia. So if you start with a skill, you can destroy these things in four shots. <laughs> so it's possible to destroy the rocks in four shots if you start using your skill. But again, that's kind of a useless little bit of trivia. It's, it's kind of, you know, a very niche thing to do. Also, these are the dungeons that um, will be a lot harder, probably. They'll just get harder and harder because we'll also have bosses at some point. See, it's normally 5, so like this. But we have to catch the critical. I don't think these dungeons respawn their loot. Oh, they do. Well, not their um, iron deposits or their other stuff. Their coal deposits. Or maybe they do. I don't know. And the point is that at some... At some part of the game, you'll be able to just use your tools. So you don't even need to use your weapons to destroy the enemies. I'm not sure what is the right way, so we'll just explore a little bit. To be honest, I think you don't need as much coal as I initially did. Because it seems like it's an abundant resource if you just explore the map. Otherwise, you don't really get enough materials. Iron is the real problem. So, iron is the problem, stone is the problem. So, I guess in other words, I have to smash every rock that I see in the dungeon. Also, I think you can go up to level 100 or something like that. It's pretty... pretty generous. Sadly, you don't have a lot of interesting things to pick up. I mean, you have, yeah, the skill points and what are you going to choose? You're going to choose attack speed, damage a little bit. I guess you can take that one point of damage. Maybe you'll do one more point of damage against enemies. I do wish the dungeons had maps to them. And I'm also destroying everything, every rock I see, because now our backpack is 300. So we definitely have the space to hold everything. Why didn't I light up this one? Oh yeah, I forgot about this feature completely. Yeah, now it's coming back to me.
Repair the bridges. Hmm, I guess that's just a dangerous... Dangerous ledge over there. Oh, those are bats. Kind of interesting. Well, I guess you have to destroy these things first. I don't think I explored here last time I was in the dungeon. Also, I don't know what to do with those things. So I just keep expanding my inventory size so I have more room for them. If I remember in the early access, in the first version of the game, I could uh, unlock something related to spells with them, but I'm not sure what. If the sword is this strong, I think, well, I think the skite had a lower attack speed. Probably. So yeah, as you can see, the more you play the game, the more you progress, you'll be able to use more resources and store more resources. So I guess... At this point of the game, I have more things to interact with. I think this was the better. Okay, let's explore a little more. Again, that's a lot of does have a lot of winding pathways. But it's very linear. I mean there are not many pathways available to you, just have to explore every corner and then kind of trace your way back. This looks like it's going to be a tough fight. What other good food types I have? I think I also have a lot of mango. Here is a mango. And sadly the game will feature a lot of platforming and a lot of bosses that you need the reflexes to beat. Well, I say sadly, but... I guess it's unavoidable. And this is not even the full attack speed we can employ, we still have a few skills that increase our attack speed. So this responds as well. <sighs> okay, wish me luck. Oh, that was so much easier than I thought. I even have enough time to eat a juicy pear. And I think we'll also get the level up. What does that sound? Where their spears and tables over there like they wanted to protect against something? Oh, I'll just steal your money.
That is very nice over here, but I hope it has a more practical purpose, like a teleporter. Probably does have. Okay, let's see what this NPC has to tell me. I've been trapped here for weeks. The blacksmith. All the voidlings. Oh, finding the blacksmith. A great deal on your first purchase. Okay, so that's how we unlock the blacksmith. Did we level up? Oh, no, not yet. Okay, let's see how this works. Warp. I hope it will let me go back to the dungeon because I still have a couple of things left to do over there, like explore the right side of the dungeon more and collect more stone. This should take me to the map updated. Okay, so then you get the next, yeah. See, I couldn't, I don't think I could go into this dungeon, so that's the second dungeon we have to do, and I think that will have a boss. Oh no. So I guess it doesn't let you teleport back to the dungeon. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to walk there. I guess that will be enough. So while well, that is cooking. I think I need to water the crops. So I'll do that later. So yeah, the dungeons are your only reliable source of stone. Ah, uh, well, I guess time flies when I'm having fun. So we clear the dungeon, but... I also want to do the make the blacksmith a house, so that means I have to chop down even more wood. Okay. There's a pattern forming. One million wood pieces. We are a Terminator now. <laughs> I think we can destroy the... A rock with our sword now, even. How do I get up there? I don't really care. I just want to get more stone and... Uh, maybe a few more resources from this area. Okay, perfect. So I don't think the game is very popular because people were left with a bad impression after the first time they played the early access and that was the same, very bad impression because the game had very little content but now this is exactly what you would want. <laughs> I still find it very funny that you can hit the stones four times instead of five and that's kind of like a big deal in the game. And you actually need a little bit of skill to pull it off. Okay, so I guess I just need to harvest this one more time and then we are ready to never come back here. It's also a pretty good experience. I 
I guess this will really become our island in the future. <laughs> and yeah, I think people will not really understand the parkour or why it's like this. And as you can see, sometimes you have this little secret here and there. And I think we can almost, uh, I guess, we're not supposed to go up there. But as you can see, platforming will become much more important in the future. And that's where I'll get really angry at the game. I think I've mostly explored every little corner now. There should be a couple of rocks, yeah, over here. Kind of annoying that we have to do this all the time. I think farming is nice, but um, I, I guess I should just build the up upgraded watering can. <laughs> Look at the guy looking at me from the cliff. You cannot get me. But I cannot get you either. How do I get up there? So what's this kind of like a hidden part of the map? Oh, that's dirty. Now I want to go there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess not everything is safe in the mine after all. Oh come on, I... Fine. I don't know why I died over there. I'm also afraid of getting stuck at some point. I didn't clear this the last time I was here? Probably not. And this is what I do in my time of camera. You basically have to farm a lot. It kind of gets annoying at some point because unless I can find a very good money source, I will have to do this all the time. And it also appears you have to save your money for the bigger upgrades like uh, the backpack. Oh, it's so easy to die. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy to fall off a ledge. Yeah, not a lot of good stuff to mine in this dungeon, so I guess at some point you just have to leave it alone. Uh, but we still have to come here for the stone. Yeah, it's a good game, I like it. It's also pretty relaxing. Not much of a challenge to be honest, but still pretty relaxing. Probably when the game is fully released I'll play the harder game mode, but for now I think I'll just continue this safe while as long for as long as I can. I guess this time they spared us, we don't get a boss fight, we just get um, normal enemies. Oh yeah, and I think from this part on we'll just go to the... yeah. Well, I guess we have to go and exit the dungeon anyway, so let's go. There were still a few areas I could have, you know, gather resources from and maybe some of the secret areas can still be accessible. But I am too lazy for that. Spock, bring me home. Oh, what did I miss this one? Oh, 
Well, there was a very nice escape. I guess the, the void creatures left him alone. And that was a nice amount of rewards I got from there. Yeah, it was worth it. I guess we don't have time to go to that island again. I'll go off camera over there, destroy everything, kill everything, and then we'll come back later. Okay, so I said I wanted to unlock the blacksmith in this episode. We'll just do that. Are those marigold flowers <laughs> sticking out of the backpack? I think they are. I need, I think, about 200 wood. Oh, this will take a little longer. I also don't like the fact that you have to wait such a long time for the tree to fall down. Because that basically means you have to cut down the trees. And then pick them up. Which means you leave a lot of trees, a lot of wood on the ground and that might make the game even more laggy. And then I want to see how good the torch is, the new torch. Because this one is a little weak. I mean, it's still an infinite torch, as opposed to other games, but still. Barely has any light to it. Okay, this should be enough wood. Feels like I'm collecting macaroni over the floor. Keep in mind our backpack has 300 slots now, so we don't need to kind of restrain ourselves anymore. I guess I chose a very good base location because you have to be close to this thing. You just exit and enter it a lot of times. I guess I can build some stairwell. Yeah, that would be nice. Some stairwell so I can go up and down. Uh, let's just put 50. Ah, that should be enough. So, what's the difference? Okay, let's go outside where it's completely dark. Well, to be honest, it's, it's about 10% brighter or 20% brighter, but I don't think it's worth the cost. So, I guess it's not really a straight up upgrade is more like a little uh, <laughs> a little project you want so yeah i guess i should have gotten the skite but we can get both right so let me see this is a weapon speed is high this is a tool speed is average Okay, so it doesn't matter because we can only use it with the skill. Oh, but it's actually strong because even if you use only the skills, it's still good enough. Especially if you critical hit something with it. Oh yeah, I see. It's about timing, okay. Mm, I don't know. I, I guess I just wanted to see how it is, but yeah, it's not really a weapon, because 
you have to time it super super good and even so it's only 23 to 36 possible damage and this this is just much better in terms of yeah I guess we can use it in combat a, a little bit and then we just have to oh wow that's a lot of items for the watering can oh and uh, we need the rainbow stuff pure titanium and I know how to get a titanium I think the titanium was in the middle of this area over here next to the temple and the limestone should also be fine should also find it near, near there okay so I know everything now. And now prepare to lose 20 FPS. Surprisingly we didn't lose 20 FPS yet. I also think I, I worry too much about the placement of these things but doesn't seem like it really matters. I mean I want to... I want everyone to have nice houses. Don't tell me we're out of wood yet. But oh. Yeah, I guess you can make a big mistake like this and then you... Okay, we have to redo the entire thing because it's too close to this part and we cannot put walls over there. <laughs> Remember all those times I said I don't need more clay? Now I need more clay. Okay, let's just put the bed down then. And I think we can just make the... Okay, this is a little cheesy. You can just make the upper part of the roof. And it will count as the bed being under the roof. Okay, I just need one more... Actually, no, we don't need one more piece of clay because that should be enough. Okay, sorry about that, Mr. Blacksmith. You're going to have a very weird house. I probably will come back and build them better houses, but as long as it's not needed for the gameplay and it's only for aesthetic purposes, I don't really care. It might need two walls. Okay, fine. Oh, you can change the color of your bed. This is a bit annoying. I mean, I don't think it really impacts the game, but I just wanted to at least be a little normal. Oh, it's not straight any... Okay. will make people very anxious okay so now if you're on an account you put a villager or a, a new shop owner in there oh talented blacksmith coal and metal weapon crafting you just select the villager put them there move in and then the blacksmith shop will be available to us I really wish it would tell me on the map where everyone is. Oh, 
Looks like the FPS is not as bad as it used to be. What is this place over here? Well, I guess it's just a house. Okay. So this is the material vendor. So where is the blacksmith on now? It's going to be a while until I find it, right? Huh. Well, I assume this is the mayor's house. Probably that's a nice inspiration for how my house should look. Or maybe the blacksmith is not set up yet. Okay, let's go back to the our little cabin, sleep and then come back later. I guess we can set up the pirate as well. Yeah, let's just make a house for everyone. But keep in mind, you cannot make house for everyone you just have to uh, choose a few of them in the beginning so i guess all you need is a wooden foundation oh i'm out of wood okay next time next time <laughs> also which materials wouldn't spawn inside this area i mean there should have been clay in this area because you cannot harvest it So if you cannot harvest it, then why put it in the town area at all? As you can see, this is a nice house. Well, at least it's a complete house. At shop. Can you even sleep during the day? Probably. No, we cannot, but hey. Calm down, game. I keep pressing shift when I do this because I'm used to other games. I guess that's a good way to take everything. Oh no, I think I need more. Don't use the coal in here. Using the coal in here would be such a bad idea. I guess I can technically put more over here. Okay, let's see if the blacksmith is set up. <laughs> yeah. And you can destroy this in three hits. Yeah, that's a uh, more useless trivia. I guess I should really do a video where I present all of this information because it's so weird that you don't have any clue of how this works. Especially the town setup. So that's the floor is this, but where is the blacksmith? I mean, we could look for it a little bit outside of the town area, more or less. I distinctly remember this will be the farming areas. This will... Oh, what? Fuel. Okay, so you, you get an automatic... They didn't tell me about this. I guess you can only boost it. Okay, that'll actually be a great help to us. Maybe I should read closer what the game is trying to tell me. Okay, I just I'm just trying to find the blacksmith and then I'll give up and go back. This 
is such a nice update. I guess you just have to let it do its own thing. Oh yeah, that makes sense, because the more you upgrade the city, the more items you'll get for free, so... Probably we should upgrade the city as fast as possible. Yeah, I'll give it another upgrade. So next episode we'll see another level up for the city. What is this thing over here? Uh, more houses. I should also be able to see where this is. Uh, so he's at the shop. Oh, he's moving in. So I guess he'll not be at the shop. I just need to wait one day. Well, that's annoying. Well, I guess we'll have to see the blacksmith next episode. Bye.